Yo, how you doing everyone? Guess who's back? Back again. How you doing? Back to the mighty Bristol Channel. As you can see, it's beautiful. It's Easter weekend, it's Saturday. And to be honest, I didn't really plan to come to a high water mark. I was actually gonna take you out, which I still am, to a low water mark this afternoon. And then I woke up early, looked outside and thought, oh my God, it's perfect. So here we are. It's a little bit rushed. You wouldn't know, but I literally launched all the stuff in my van. And here we are. So what I'm gonna do is continue setting up. I've got some brand new reels. I've got to put some leaders on. I've got my rigs, obviously, from the Shore Hunter YouTube shop. So I'm good. But everything else is in a shit state. Welcome back, everyone. As you know by now, my name's Wayne, and this is the beautiful Bristol Channel. Yeah, to be fair, I am probably half an hour late, but we're all right. We got moves, we're catch up. As I mentioned, they've got brand new reels. I've gone for the casting specials, which I paid for. As you know, I'm not into sponsored stuff. I work for Tronics Pro. So obviously, yeah, I get stuff a little bit cheaper. Naturally, but I don't push it onto you. I use it to good effect, hopefully. And that's the difference and the main difference with what I like to do. But yeah, I spooled the reels up last night and I didn't even get time to put shock leaders on. So here we are. I'm just putting on a tapered leader. I love tapered leaders lately. Yeah, brilliant. Yesterday was Good Friday. So we went out and done some stuff. I went to Chesil Beach for a change and took the enemy and the kids. Yeah. Jokes aside, I took my lovely wife and the children. Guess what we've done? Can I say this? A British thing? I've done something really British, if I'm allowed to say that. Um, yeah, I went to West Bay and ate some chips and I had an ice cream. Wow. That's pretty cool, eh? Anyway, that's my leader knot. I'm gonna keep going when I bring you back. We'll do some baiting up. I'll show you my rigs. We'll do some fishing. Happy Easter, everyone. That's it. I'm in a rush. And there we go. Shameless advert right there. There you go. I've got my famous. Are they famous? They are to me. My famous pulley panels with the Tronics Pro tubing. Now available on my YouTube shop. Anyway, let's do some fishing. True story though. Target species, Bornback Ray, bass. I've not got any fresh baits. You know, if you watch my videos, the predicament I have where I live, I've got no tackle shops within an hour radius of my house. And there we go. That's my pulley. Available now from the Shore Hunter YouTube channel shop. That's the last plug, all right? I promise. So I can't stand here doing this all day. It's pretty weird. Anyway, when I bring you back, I show you my bait. I'll leave you running. I'm in a rush. All right. Target species. Form back ray. Squid. Right bait squid. Simple stuff. I've got some blacks as well. There's a few bass around. It doesn't matter how long I've been fishing. When I'm in a rush, I'm all over the place. Probably like most of you. My bait is still frozen, Sonic. But the sun's up. It'll be fine. How you all doing? You doing all right? I hope so. Otherwise I'll tell you off. But yeah, 
I'm doing good. It's nice to get back and fish the Bristol Channel and Chesil Beach. I know, because I'm real, not all of you enjoy my Norway videos, right? But it's my holiday and I love fishing. So I film, but I understand not all of you want to watch it. So I get it, all right? Most of you come along for the ride 18 months ago for Chesil Beach. So I've got, yeah, I've got two heads on this squid. I've got a cut on my thumblet. It's annoying because if you've done this style of fishing before, your bait elastic goes in it all day and cuts your finger back open, which is fun dabba doozy. Right, let's get my rig. Normally I get all this done for you, yeah? All the prep's done, but today I'm literally chasing my ass. But first cast, top of the tide and last cast, are most important. A guy up from me has just had a ray straight away. So I could have missed it, but we're all right, we'll catch up. Normally I get more fish on the ebb tide. That's why I'm not worried really about being half an hour late. So as you can see, I've got a six inch gripper to a splashdown, a 120 pound rig body to a bead, a pulley bead, a bead, a swivel to a 90 pound hook length to a 4.0 circle held with my magic tubing, to a 4.0 J hook mounted to a full riot bait squid. Ding, ding, said the form back. Let's go. As you can see, I'm now using a casting special. Thankfully, you're saying, by Fathom 15s, my old style were absolutely, I don't know, they bumped banged, farted, I don't know. They made some noise. Normally when I get some new line on a reel or put some new line on a reel, I like to have three or four casts. The tide's not actually made the bottom of the rocks yet. So I'm doing something that you probably shouldn't do. So I'm now having a cast with a brand new reel, with brand new line, brand new leader, with a bait straight on. So what I'm gonna do is make sure the mags are on full and give it a go. But welcome back everyone. What could possibly go wrong? First of all, I've got a set of scissors in my pocket. I don't need that because that will hurt. But yeah, the tide's coming from left to right. So naturally, I'm gonna walk up a little bit. It's quite a small tide for here, as I've mentioned before. So it should be fine. Wish me luck, everyone. This could go tits up. But I've had casting specials before and they're great. Ooh, good start, Wayne. Decked it. See, I'm like you, you know. I'm not a pro, whatever they call themselves. Just a guy like you. There you go. Mags are right on full then. Feel it in the air, holding back. But look, we're fishing. Didn't blow up. So yeah, we've got a gentle breeze now, as you can see on the water. When we got here, it's flat like a mirror. And now, as you can see, we've got a little breeze, but it should be fine. Been fishing for 10 minutes with one rod. Nothing fancy. Whole squid in that tide on a brand new reel with brand new line. The same as the second one. So you can sit back in a minute, edge your bets, Will he fuck it? He might do. Two or three casts, we'll be fine. I'll get the mags off. I've had casting specials before. I like them. Some people don't. I do. I'm not sponsored by Pan. Yeah, I bought my casting specials on the Vills mail order deal. I think it was 179 or 169 each with free delivery. So I couldn't turn it down. And there we go. That's my second Shaw Hunter pulley ready to go out for a form bat ray. 
lots of people going off on a holiday. And there we go, in the sunshine. New line, new reel, new rigs, new me. No, not a new me. Unfortunately for you guys, it's me. I'm just gonna flick this one, mags on four. What could go wrong? Mags are on well full, pulling. That's all right. I remember how powerful the mags are on this. I was pulling it back in the air. We've got some blacks out now. Over the top of the tide, my next cast. Put some blacks out, maybe, for a bass. It's just a frozen bait type of day. Not much tide, so I'm gonna go with a five ounce this time. Bit of wind now. Yeah, I want my lead to be broken out. Slack line and the form back ray to mooch off down tide with a set a four O's in it. What a beautiful spot. <laughs> As you know, I put all my fish back, pretty much. I'm not against taking fish. I just don't really eat it. Unless someone else is cooking it for me. Yeah, it's nice then. But yeah, I cook a little bit. I eat a bit. I just wish I really liked it. You know, some people probably like you, love it. I'm like that with meat. I like meat. You know what I mean. Can I get a squid? Put on my bait needle, like so. Get some blacks that have been falling out in the sun. I froze these myself, so they are really good. I've vat packed them as well. I don't bring that to the beach. The plastic, I leave it at home. One, two. Three blacks. Put that paper down there, don't worry, I'll pick it up. Not a little bug. Right, there we go. Three blacks. I'm just gonna go with thick elastic, just cause I got it out. I've got some different elastic in there. I've got medium and thin if needed, but it'd be right. Oh man, that elastic keeps going in my fam. And there you go, look, like that. Do you like that? Oh yeah, not too much. I like the scent to be able to come out. Ah, dancing. Looking for my rig again. That's what I told you before. I've got set places to put stuff. I normally put my rigs up on my rest just so I can't lose them. I'm off the charts. I've told you this. Come on. Come on, fishies. It's beautiful, eh? So pleased to got up and come out. I was meant to be going out this afternoon for you, which I might do anyway. If I do, that will be a separate video, naturally. But yeah, I just got up. let the cat out and then I was like, oh my God, it looks beautiful out there. Got in the shower and my missus is like, all right. 
No, love, put them away. I'm going fishing. <laughs> no. You know how it goes. There we go. Nice, dirty blacks. Ready for a form back ray, or maybe a Bristol Channel bass. Yeah, we're just coming up to 40 minutes before high. A great time this time of year to get a conga. I'm moving forward. Not really seen many congos recently. We've done this before, but a conga eel is obviously shaped like an eel. And at the Bristol Channel, the tide is massive. As you know, it's the second rise and fall of tide in the whole world. So for me, low water at a low water venue and high water is a great time to catch a conga eel. As you can see, we've got hardly any tide. Those glass tips on the competition blackouts are not bent in that tide. When the tide turns for about half an hour, it will pull like a train. But for me, that is the best time to get a fish, which hopefully I can demonstrate. The last few times of coming out here, I've caught fish exactly when I said I would. So hopefully today we can do the same. Conga eel over high water, form back ray, as the tide turns and maybe a bass about an hour down, if we're lucky. There we go, I've called it. What do you think about that? Yeah. I didn't get time to get any breakfast. The things I do for fishing. Nice though. Hear the birds singing. Beautiful. Oh. Nice. It's beautiful today. A bit squeaky for a new reel. To be honest, they're straight off the shelf. I got them sent to my house, I unboxed them, and they're here with me. So they are full of blue grease, which all pen reels are full of. So I will actually take that out and put my own grease in there. But I'm not really one for messing around with my reels. But yeah, nice and squeaky for you. Yeah, I love them. Mm. Mm. Try and take the mags off a little bit now. Let's try. The sun is beautiful. Nice, there we go. That was a little bit better. Had a few fluff ups, do you hear it? It's just because that's new line, but yeah, nice. I do really like these reels. I was gonna fluff it up where that new line was on there. Do you hear it going shh, shh, It's gotta be brave. Yeah, nice. As you can see, there's no tide at the moment. 
we're virtually at high water. Great time for a conga. Or a bass. Quite a few boats out today, naturally. It's Easter weekend. Why wouldn't there be? And good on you. Let me get a bait. I'm gonna get another black out as well. Get some blacks out there. Here, by the way, just get my bait. Come on, come on, form backs, come on, bass in the sunshine. I slap that one's gone. I'll sort that out in a minute. Oh, it's gone slap. It's not a fish. It's where the tide's dropping out. Within half an hour, that's going to be hooping round. Hopefully. It's a bit squeaky, this one. <laughs> Be brave. <laughs> Hear it fluffing up. Zzz, zzz, zzz. And now we are. we're out. We're in the tide. We've got a chance. Yeah, if you can see, there's a boat out there. I'm not sure if you can pick it up on camera. It's just swinging around now. So that tide is just turning. Got a little bit of tide on the tips. As you know, these are glass tips. They're designed to pick up the tide at range. I'm not casting very far, but it's a big tide. As you can see, my lines are not slack anymore. The tips are pulled down. See? In about half an hour, they're gonna be hooped right over. Look at that bait. It's been out there half an hour. Perfect. See my tips are pulled down. So what we need to do is just tighten them up a little bit. Good girls. Come on. 
looks great for a bite. Nice conger eel over high. Or a bass. Or a form back ray. Also, I know I've got my hood up, but I've not got my salad pats on, which is good. I'm pretty sure if I was out of the sun, it'd be quite nippy though. Yeah, it's good. Come on then. Please, is that a thing? Please come on fishy. Fishy fishies. No, I'm not worried. As you know, I get most of my fish when the tide starts going from the top of the channel out. Normally get a mad hour where I can get three or four rays, maybe a bass if I'm lucky, or a conger eel. So I'm not flapping yet. Yeah, we got a chance. Well, as you can see, my right hand rod has come back a bit. Um, that's the joys of using two of the same rods. They're virtually cast in the same place. Just looks a little bit different. Um, the left one, as you can see, is pulled right down. Let's tighten the ratchet up and see what happens. Oh. There you go, come back, let's see that. Definitely different, that. Can you see it's acting different? If the left one's tight, the right one's just, I don't know what's happening there. Could be some weed on there. That's so weird. Doesn't look fishy though. I want it to just pull down, come out. Yeah, something, something's not right with that. Oh, look at that. The lead mitre trip's gone right down side. Can I have a fish on here, have you? Saw that ratchet out a minute. That'd be helpful, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's gone right down tide, look. Well, it might just be because I've got a five inch gripper on there. It's just not holding, yeah. It's not a fish. I've got a seven inch gripper ready. Ah, oh, got me a little bit excited, eh? I'm not gonna lie. The tide is really pulling for a small tide. Do is get this one out there in the tide again. Ball cut. line out this time. We've got virtually about an hour of the best fishing now. This is the time I'd expect us to get a fish. It either happens, as you know, or it doesn't. And that's it. We've got tide, we've got depth, 
We've got nice baits. The rigs work. And look at that tide. Wow. Come on. You can hear it singing. Listen. Come on. It's a beautiful noise. Wish me luck, eh? Left hand one's acting a little bit strange. Let's line up. There you go. I'm virtually up tidy now off of the beach. Watch that line tighten up. I do this, listen. That's just the tide. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's a beautiful day. Come on, let's get a fish. One in the sunshine. My left one's slacking off a bit. Like all good things, hey, that was a beautiful Saturday morning in the spring sunshine. As you've seen, I tried my very best. I put some lovely baits out there on my beautiful Shore Hunter Bristol Channel pulley rigs. The fishing was great. The catching was pretty poor. My name's Wayne. It was a privilege to be out fishing for you and I look forward to seeing you somewhere else very soon.